Hey, this is Aubrey Birch from Easy School Marketing, and I'm here to talk to you about five tips that for preparing your staff and faculty for the coronavirus health crisis and potential school closures or school closures if they've already happened. Now, just because I say prepare, if you've already started like your school closure and your distance learning plans, this still applies because these are things that you can put into place to make sure that your faculty and staff are successful. All right, number one is test out your systems. <laughs> so uh, this means test out your Zoom before you ask faculty and staff to use it. Make sure you have your passcodes. Test out the video platforms that faculty and staff will be using. Test out your Google Docs system. Whatever you're using, you as administrators need to test it out first, okay? And then <laughs> ask faculty and staff to do that. And that goes hand in hand with my next one, which is after you've tested it out, it's to write down your processes, write down step by step, so that as faculty and staff are doing this over the coming weeks, months, who knows what's happening with this, uh, that your faculty and staff can refer back to it and easily be able to do the things that you're asking. And then that goes into number three, which is as you're doing this, please teach your faculty and staff how to use video please let them know like good audio matters like where they're standing matters what sort of you know light they're standing in how they're talking how they're gesturing this matters and for faculty who have never had video training this is huge and it's, if you're thinking well it really doesn't matter what they do on video that is not true like how you present yourself on video and engage is really um, important for building that sense of connection and community and stuff like that. You know, you don't want someone who's sitting there going, hello, I'm Aubrey from Easy School Marketing. This is what I'm talking about today. That is so boring. No one would stay around to listen to it. Anyways, so that is the key. So give your faculty and staff some sort of initial training, which you can do via video, about how to use video. Then the next thing I would say is give them talking points or provide them with scripts. So that's number four. <laughs> I can't remember where we are. Anyways, give them talking points and scripts. So that means, so they have ideas. Like I would generate a list of ideas. This is what I do with my clients, like tons and tons of ideas. Here's what you could do on this video. Here's this one, this one, this one. So it's beyond the academic piece, but also the video, like give them a ton of ideas. So they are not at a loss for what to produce and how to produce it, what sort of videos to produce and how to produce it. So that is another thing. And then give them talking points. I'm not talking about writing out a whole script. I'm saying bullet points so that they know what to hit. This is especially useful for your faculty and staff that may not be very comfortable on camera, okay? Um, and I know, we should, I'm sure every school has some of those. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay. Um, the next thing I would say is to set expectations. This is number five, set expectations. What are you expecting your faculty and staff to do during this time? And I would say have clear expectations and realizing that it might be a little different for each one, but what are you expecting? Because if you have a parent with two children in two different classrooms and they're getting completely different experiences, that's going to be really tricky because they're gonna wonder, well, how come you know Jacob over here in this class is getting all this great information from his teacher and Sally over here has received just one video or something like that. But you just wanna make sure you set the expectations for the teachers and make sure that they understand them. All right, I hope this was helpful. My heart is with you all as we journey together through this coronavirus health crisis and our, the economic economic ups and downs that are flowing right with it. So please let me know how I can support you. I'm here to help. Take care.